Two teams in fine form and with promotion aspirations as Grimsby, who have made their best start to a season in 16 years, take on a Bradford side who have won six of their last nine. Today, Mark Hughes' side looked to equal a club record of five successive away wins, a record set back in the 1984-85 season under Trevor Cherry. Bradford, a side that Grimsby have had plenty of problems with in the past has been failing to beat them in any of the last 15 meetings. Back in the atmosphere, it must be said here today. It should be with just how much the supporters are enjoying things from their two sides right now. Even back in the middle of midfield, advantage played. King Green was caught late there. And he's allowing play to develop. The ball comes in and it's a great... Great bit of work there to put that ball behind. Grimsby could have got themselves in front. Lovely ball in, but just look at the defending there. And Romany Critchlow reaching out to turn it behind. Grimsby, it's a long, it's a long time to get their first win here at home this season. It really came a couple of weeks ago against Crawley. Back foot here as Bradford come forwards, opening on the edge of the area for Harry Chapman. Still there might be something on, and it's a good piece of defending. Follow-up effort comes in, and it spins behind via a deflection. Numerous chances for Bradford City there. He's clustered in the penalty spot. And here comes the header, goalwards, and taken away from goal corner for Bradford it's broken flung himself to his right there in the end the ball diverted before it even got to him Bradford having a good little spell here he bounces up awkwardly in front of Efete folds nods it forwards Grimsby though back in possession here and there's an opening over on the far side and they've got four forwards streaming into the area here won't be a chance for them to get something but it's pulled back and this is everyone they turn it back around and it comes back off the post inches away from an opener what a goal that would have been good strike by Green he sees it crash back off the frame of the goal towards half time here They're given away cheaply and Kinn racing forwards pulls it back huge opportunity and Grimsby should have been in front right on half time Hollihan racing in and he couldn't keep his effort on target and what a let off that is for Bradford in the recent meetings between the two unbeaten in their last seven visits to Grimsby Just comes in and it's pushed away awkwardly by Croker wasn't expecting that again here cross surely the intention but in the end it was threatening the Grimsby goal Croker able to flick it away for a corner around the penalty spot how he'd love a goal against his former club today the ball comes towards him the header is up but not really away chance on the turn here and Crocom puts it onto the post and then the effort fired over the top on the rebound how is this game still nil nil fantastic initial save from Crocom had to react so so quickly the follow up well that should have been 1-0 to Bradford I think it has given us plenty he's yet 
to provide us with a goal. Could that change here? Rolled out to the far side, and again, Grimsby. Half players flooding forwards. In comes the cross, and it's pushed out athletically by Harry Lewis. The chances continuing to come at both ends. You see just how committed Grimsby are to get bodies into the box, and Lewis, well, he really had to reach out to his right there to keep it at nil-nil. scorers in the division always carry a goal threat but it's Grimsby who are threatening here and Lewis pulled into action once more Even dangerously at the back sometimes for Bradford City still a clean sheet kept intact Grimsby coming into this game of successive wins can we force their way to three points here this afternoon starting to feel like one goal may well be enough to win it here if someone can provide it it's going on over on the far side and he's losing Grimsby's favour sent forwards brilliantly brought down now can he finish drags it wide and Hollihan again a couple of goals for him this season he scored in these last two games those victories over Crawley and Stockport perhaps he should have had another here brilliantly brought down under pressure from Critchlow in the end his effort running wide of goal Grimsby the more likely in the last 10 or 15 minutes to turn one point into three here this afternoon the battling by Green well, things just beginning to open up here it's crash goalwards and Lewis yet again has the answer to keep it at nil-nil Lewis Richardson working his way into the penalty area I say that you would expect Lewis to make, but he got it out of harm's way as well. Out to the far side, room for Efete. Plenty of options inside the area. Oops, not to cross. Grimsby working out to this near side instead. Otis Khan just hangs one up towards that back post area. just can't get out here Rashed goalwards again and once more it's Harry Lewis who comes to Bradford's rescue he's not happy not happy at all the goalkeeper at some of the things that's happening out in front of him almost, almost found that far corner and plenty of noise Inside Blundell Park this afternoon from both sets of supporters. It's been a very enjoyable game. And so I'm going to step forwards in the little time that remains to win it for their side. <laughs> Too many clear cut chances as this second half was more on. They had that brilliant opportunity, of course, to take the lead early in the second half and the rebound put over but they'll have an opportunity here With the clock winding down free kick comes in the header back across goal and there was no one there to put it away for Bradford and there is the full-time whistle and the Bradford players aren't happy and I don't feel that Andy Haynes should have brought the game to a conclusion just there it was a thrilling contest Mark Hughes is going to come and have a word with the referee as well. You can see him shaking his head. And somehow here this afternoon, we had a game that ended goalless. Chances at both ends. Both teams had really good chances to win it. Neither able to do so. It finishes Grimsby nil, Bradford nil.